What up, though? What up, Bill? What up, though? What up, though? That feels weird. All right, whatever. What up, though? My name is Ndebisi Okoye, and I'm a multidisciplinary creative from Detroit, Michigan. Today, I'm gonna let you in on a Giphy talk I did a couple weeks ago where employees from Giphy across the country got to hear me talk about my previous projects, work that I've done. This portion that you're gonna be hearing is the Q&A session um, where the employees get to ask me questions and I answer in real time. I hope that it inspires you and I hope that you get something from it. Yes! I had like a soundboard, like and a bunch of stuff going on. So yeah, um, we already have a question coming in from Amanda Grant. As an artist, do you get stuck? And if so, how do you get unstuck? Yeah, most definitely. I always get creative block or stuck or in a rut. Um, a lot of times I kind of take different approaches. One would be sometimes I try to work through it and I kind of, it's kind of counterintuitive most of the time. So usually I like work out, um, I'll ride Peloton or go for a run or I'll just like rest. Sometimes it's usually just rest or eating consistently that'll uh, get you unstuck because usually it's just your brain being overtaxed. Another one. How do you make your boundaries clear to brands and others during in your work process? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's just a conversation most of the time. Um, I try to think of brands, clients, and all that as just people. Um, that's what we're all, we all are in the first place. And then if our like goals or outlooks don't align, then potentially that project can't work out. But I don't try to like harp on what I don't agree with or anything like that. I just make my my boundaries clear and make my like what I stand for and what my morals are clear as well. Um, and if they align, they align. If they don't, they can work with somebody else, which I usually try to recommend as well. Um. Anyone wants to open their mic? We do have more questions. Um, so looking back as an artist and your exchanges with various clients like Giphy, after you submit your work, what is something you feel like a client misses in the process of the commission? For instance, like what messages do you hope to transcend as an artist through the client and yourself? Yeah, I think um, it's a heavy question, but I think some of the things that I, I hope to convey to clients and through the work that I create is that all of these things matter. Um, and that the people that we're making these things for matter as well. And the impact that the actual things that we're creating have. Um, and that, I know that comes after the fact and the reaction to things when they're produced or made. Um, but I think that's probably the most important part to me is how people react and engage with the things that we create. Even if it is gifts um, that are, can seem fleeting, they have an impact and they have value. Um, so that's why I try to communicate the value of the people that we create for. Yeah, wow. Love that. Um, another one is, Ashley, do you wish there was something that Giphy specifically offered to multidisciplinary artists to gain more exposure, client opportunities? Um, I, I mean, we've had plenty of conversations privately about like what, what we could do potentially. Um, but I, I think it's, it's an interesting space to be in. I have a million ideas all the time, but right now the world we're in with the pandemic and stuff still going on, um, it's, it's a unique time. Um, and it's, I think it's just opening up to being creative in different ways um, on a project by project basis. I think that's the best thing I have to recommend. But outside of the pandemic, if it ended tomorrow, yeah, I have a million ideas about things we could potentially do to um, help multidisciplinary artists. Because there's a bunch of different ways to be creative and how that translates to the digital space, physical space, and other ways. Absolutely, like there's just so much that can happen. And I think if anything, the pandemic has made it more creative in the most ironic way, right? Absolutely. Um, um, if anyone wants to open their mic, open, but we do have more questions. Anyone wants to open their mic and just directly talk? I have a, I have a cool question. Um, <clears throat> hi, I'm Isaiah. Thank you for doing this, by the way. Very, very cool stuff. Um, so I, t I like volunteer at, at at a, at a after school program um, for public schools. A lot of the kids are black. Um, and, you know, as part of my thing is like, just trying to show them that, you know, that there's a lot more to, to life than sort of the confinements of, of, of the school and where they are. And uh, I was curious what you would say to, to sort of young black artists who are sort of just starting out, like I'm talking like grade school, then middle school, 
Uh, what would you say to young young black artists uh, who are just starting out, just to kind of keep them motivated and keep them keep them going? Yeah, um, I w- the most important thing I would probably say is be be confident in yourself. I think that's the biggest thing. That's the reason why a lot of artists who are I would even say more talented than I have, like than I am, um, have stopped because they weren't confident in their abilities. They didn't think it would translate. Um, but but also, I don't. I wouldn't pr- promote being Kanye on the other end of it. Like I, there's a spectrum. <laughs> so, so that, but having uh, confidence, but being able to uh, be molded and learn as well, I think that's the key to it. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been doing this since I was a kid. I remember being ten and having a portfolio of laminated pages that I would like do sketches, graffiti, and all type of stuff in. So yeah, just having your, the confidence and being able to learn and grow will be the biggest thing. Fantastic. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Anyone else? I'm looking. Okay. So another question, kind of going off of that about speaking to like a younger audience. Usually the question is like, what would you say to your younger self? But a little twist to that, I guess, is like, what do you think that like your greatest inspiration or mentor would say about you in the future? Mm-hmm. Um, I think my greatest inspiration or mentor would probably say about me that I never stop. Um, they would say that I was weird in that that I, I just believed in myself more than anybody else. Um, and I just kept going no matter how things changed, how life impacted my work, how my work grew and the mediums changed rapidly. I just kept trying to insert myself in those conversations of what art is and what it can be. Wow. Yeah, and then kind of related to the earlier comic, how has the pandemic impacted your approach to the work? Yeah, um, I wouldn't say it impacted it too much. It, like weirdly, like since I've been working from home, like my work has ramped up, like I want to say like maybe a hundred fold, <laughs> like, like every brand and client is reaching out like, hey, let's do this X, Y, and Z. And that's, I get it because of the, like everything that's going on with the social unrest, um, they want to hear black voices and they want to shine a light on that, which is amazing. But at the same time, I've just had to set more boundaries and like actually I had to get management over the last year. Um, so having boundaries and having my management team actually like have a layer between me and clients um, so, I, so I don't have to like spend so much, uh, I guess you could say like work spend so much time like on emails and doing all kinds of stuff as far as like handling client services. Um, so it was just over the year, past year and a half, it's just been having more boundaries and having like a team in place to help me keep going. Yeah. And then just out of curiosity, c- coming off of that, like how do you as an artist create that work life balance and not consistently to do be creative but also like be in the business but also like be human and and experience the world yeah um i'm still learning how um to be honest over the last year i I really didn't think about it too much i always knew i wanted to be done working at 5 p.m um and have time with my daughter and my wife um but that's not always how it happens um but i think more practically it's been um being like ridiculously organized and having everything on my calendar and, and sticking to those times. Even though I want to keep creating, I got to spend time with my daughter. She has to go to bed. She has to do all these things. Like playtime is essential. And even with my wife, it's times like we can just sit down and watch a movie and that's good. Um, you don't have to always create. And also like being creative and doing these creative projects isn't everything. And that's the perspective that I don't think a lot of artists, including me at, at points in my career, ha- haven't understood for the most part like being creative is a gift honestly and doing projects is amazing but it's not everything um there's other parts of life and there's other parts other parts of life you have to mature and grow and do different things so another question is who are some artists who are you really into right now uh, that's that's a that's a loaded question uh so if we're talking about like visual artists, um, cause I can take it multiple ways. I can take it as artists, like music artists. I can take it as like visual artists. I start with music artists. Um, I'm into all of the popular ones, of course. Um, but I skew more R&B, hip hop, um, rap. Um, 
but I also like love like traditional R&B and stuff like that. Um, I go for the, the the big ones first. Big Sean, um, still listening to Detroit Too Heavy because it's amazing. Um, I listen to a little bit of T Gri Grizzly, not too much. Um, Detroit specific. Uh, Danny Brown, a little bit. He has more of a techno funk vibe to his rap and R&B. Um, more R&B. I don't know too many R&B artists from Detroit that are very, very, very popular. Um, but in general, uh, I consider I, I consider Adele like pop R&B. I'm waiting for her album to come out. Like it's amazing. Um, Snow Allegra, uh, Kiana Lede, um, Lucky Day. There's like there's a million, literally. Um, Summer Walker, yeah, she's amazing. She, yeah, she's I can't, yeah, so good. Um, but visual artists, Tristan Eaton, Sydney G. James, uh, Hebrew Brantley, Maxine. Um, and the cool thing about being from Detroit, I've met a lot of these artists in person um, doing murals. Um, and I've gotten a lot of inspiration from them. Uh, Natural, he's another artist. Uh, but there's like endless endless amounts. But yeah, I can go on and on days for days about who I'm inspired by. Um, another question is, so what are some things you would like to continue to explore in the, as an artist in the future? Like, is there any other mediums you're looking at? Um, what are some things you're looking to do in the near future and how, and what can people do to find you if they want to know more about your journey? Yeah, uh, just my website is the best place. My website or social media um, is just my name, first and last name, dot com. Uh, I can put it in the chat if that makes it easier. But, um, things that I'm looking to explore, I'm trying to, I want to get more into the gallery space. I've been in galleries before on like pretty local levels, but I want to get into like national galleries and stuff for like illustration and painting and stuff. Um, and I, I have a bunch of like exhibition show ideas in my head and on paper about how I can use music and art together um, and making a really dope experience. Um, so that's what I want to get into in the near future, but also I have a ton of projects going on. So it might be a little bit mid to future future. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in the next year, I'm working on murals, even now, a bunch of global murals across the world, um, illustration, more gifts and stuff like that. So that's what I'm working on. Sounds amazing. Um, does anyone want to have any last comments, want to speak directly? And are there any comments that you want to leave us off of any questions you want to ask Giphy or anything? Yeah, um, just thank you guys for the opportunity. Um, if you guys have any projects coming up, think of me, of course. Um, but I have a ton of creative homies as well that I can put on. And I love doing that as well. Um, so, yeah, just thanks for taking the time and inviting me out. Yeah. Woo! Thank you so much for joining us. You are a pleasure. Definitely reach out to Nubi C if you want any, you know, commissions or anything. You, know, you feel the talent, you feel the color. It's already there. All right. So thank you, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your day. Hope that you enjoyed that. I'm um, gonna inspire you to do something dope today. Peace.